setting, we have come to lay his mortal remains to rest, and we do so in full acknowledgement of the services we, which he offered to humanity and made the many lives which he would have touched, and the fact that he fulfilled his purpose, and now he's gone to his eternal reward. Eternal God. Amid all the changes of life, you alone remain the same, O oh Lord. 
We acknowledge the uncertainty of our life on earth. We are given a mere handful of days and our lives seem like nothing in your sight. All flesh is grass and all its beauty is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades, but your word will stand forever, O God. Lord, our hope is in you. And even in the valley of the shadow of death, teach us to know that you are with us. O Lord, let us know our end and the number of our days, that we may know how fleeting life is. Hear our prayer, O God, and turn your ear to our cry. Be not deaf to our cries or blind to our tears. We are for you, O God wandering pilgrims as all our ancestors were but you are the same and your years shall have no end let's sing together shall we abide with me for don't know you don't know it if you don't know we got change you know <laughs> Um, it's printed here. Hmm? Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost. But now I'm found, was blind, but now I see, was grace that taught my heart to fare, and grace my fears relieved, how Precious did that grace appear the hour I first believe my chains are gone and set free my God my And like a flood, his mercy reigns on in in love, amazing grace. The Lord has promised, the Lord has promised good to me. Oh, yes, his word. My hope secures, he will my shield and portion be as long as life endures. I, I don't know the rest of the stanzas, eh? My chains are gone. I have been set free, my God, my Savior has ransomed me, and like a flood, his mercy reigns. Amen. God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. Now
None of us lived to himself, and none of us died to himself. For whether we live, we live unto the Lord, and whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live therefore or die, we are the Lord's. For to this end Christ died and lived again, that he might be Lord both of the dead and of the living. I would not have you ignorant, and Paul writes, concerning them that fall asleep, that you sorrow not even as the rest which have no hope. But if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also that are fallen asleep in Jesus will God bring with him. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We have a scripture reading at this time. What's the portion appointed? No. It's going to be First Corinthians. We read from First Corinthians. First Corinthians, chapter one. First Corinthians, chapter. First Corinthians chapter 15, I beg your pardon. First Corinthians 15, 51 to 58. Who wants to read here? If not, I'm going to appoint somebody. Where's the reader? Where's the lady? <laughs> First Corinthians, my Bible is here. Come on now. First Corinthians chapter 15, 51 to 58. First Corinthians 15. Fifty-one to fifty-eight. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptibly, and we shall be changed. For this corruptibly must put on in corruption and this mortal must put on immortality so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory O death where is thy sting O grave where is thy victory the sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Amen. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You want rock of ages now? Well, no. Oh, you want to sing at a high Starting tempo? Up. Hmm? Up. You want that one? Yeah. Pass me not, O oh gentle oh, Savior, hear yeah. my humble cry. While on others you are calling, do not pass me by Savior. Savior, oh Savior, hear my humble cry. And while on others you are calling, do not pass me by. At thy throne of mercy, find a sweet relief. Kneeling there in full contrition, help my unbelief. Savior, mm, Savior, oh Savior, hear my, hear my humble cry. 
And while on other thou art calling, do not pass me by, trusting only in thy merit. Would I seek thy face, heal my wounded broken spirit, save me by thy grace. Savior, oh Savior, hear my humble cry. And while on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Thou the spring of all my comfort, more than life to me, whom have I on earth beside thee, whom in heaven but the Savior still, Savior, oh Savior, hear my humble cry, and while on others thou art calling, to not pass me by. What a friend we have in, sing with me, Jesus, all our sins and grace to bear. What a privilege to carry everything. Oh, what peace we often forfeit, and oh, what needless pain we bear, all because we do not carry everything, everything to God in prayer. Have we trials? Have trials and temptations, oh, my Lord. Is there trouble anywhere? We never be discouraged. Take it. Can we find a friend who will all our sorrow share? Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. In his arms he'll take and shield thee. Thou wilt find a solace. Gather and you come at this moment and give the eulogy, please. If I could get another chance, another walk, another dance with him, I'll play a song that would never ever end. How I'd love, love, love to dance with my father again. These Luther Vandross lyrics remind me of my childhood experience with my father. He would let us stand on his feet and he would twirl, twirl, twirl us around. My father loved to dance. In fact, he loved to socialize and he would be remembered as someone who loved to have a good time. He was a free spirit, and the expression, how it hung its swing, could best be used to capture his personality. He didn't worry about things he couldn't control. When it was time to work, however, he would spend his time pursuing his passions to earn a living. Everyone knew him as a jewelry maker, a gardener, a fisherman, a fixer-upper, something here, something over there, a jack of all trades. Right? God Ebenezer Mitchell definitely was not a Scrooge. He was a cheerful and giving man. He had an open heart and he had an even bigger open home. What was his was yours. His family and friends can attest to this. He made friends easily and he had a lot of them. 
he had genuine, honest, ride and die friends. He always had time to make himself available to anyone who asked, no matter how big or small the task. My father will always be remembered as a good and hard-working man, and although his presence will be missed, I stand here assured that his soul would now rest peacefully, rest in perfect eternal peace. Daddy. Let me just share a few thoughts with us this morning from that portion of scripture which our sister read. Oh, debt, where is your sting? Oh, grave, and where is your victory? Thanks be to God, Paul says, who has given us the victory to our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, many years ago, while I served in the church of the island, uh, of the island of, uh, I think of St. Kitts Nevis, I saw a young man with a snake. Yeah. At first I thought that the snake was venomous. But the young man continued to pet the snake. And so I inquired of him, aren't you afraid that the snake will bite you? And he said to me, Reverend Forrester, we have already extracted this, this thing and the venom so it's harmless it has no sting so it cannot harm anyone and in a similar fashion today paul is saying that jesus christ has won a major victory for us he's saying that jesus has conquered death jesus has extracted as it were the sting or the venom from the cynic and so whereas you have another funeral my but you don't want to break the law you know prime minister said 10 you know and i ain't going to jail in the old age so what are you doing you know? Spread out, spread out. You can take it like that if it's spread out. <laughs> I ain't going to jail in the old yet. Spread out, because it's, it's, they're going to take me. Right, so we were saying that I uh, established the fact that it is appointed unto man wants to die. All of us will die. All of us. There is an appointed day and moment in time well, all of us will be victimized by death. But Paul is saying that if we were to take refuge in Jesus Christ, amen, given that he has conquered death and has brought us victory, then we shall indeed experience eternal life. When Christ Jesus shall have appear. And all mortals stand before him to give an account. Those of us who would have given our lives to him, then we shall indeed be made to live with him in eternity. And so he's actually saying today, there is no need to be afraid of death. I've met those who were afraid to die. Yeah. But then why do you worry over that which you cannot change? Over that which you have absolutely no control? You see, we can delay debt, but we can't defeat it. It's like the aging process. You can put on a lot of cosmetics, but we need that you're still old. And if you're not careful, you. You could find that you embarrass yourself with those cosmetics. So you're in town and the rain's falling and the wash is off. Yeah, that's the way the reality sits. So we should not worry over the thing which we have no control. Rather, Paul is saying, let us focus, amen, on what's to come. 
and let us focus on what Christ Jesus has done for us. Your greatest fear is that, and thine, no. He says, shift your focus and begin to think of what Christ Jesus has done for us. So we are safe in him. And I believe that our brother, having listened to the eulogy there, from one daughter, two daughters, second daughter, all right, that he would have. He lived a full life. Thank God for that. And I believe that he fulfilled his purpose and he touched lives. That's why you are here this morning to pay your final tribute of respect to him. It's only unfortunate that this guy has come upon us that we have to be doing this thing like this. I, I don't enjoy this, but this is what the reality is calls for. COVID I'm talking about. Very unfortunate, but this too shall pass. Amen. Amen. We are a resilient people. Amen. We have survived many, many challenges and struggles through the decades. Yes. So this one, we shall conquer it also. Amen. But I repeat, there is no need. You shouldn't be worried about the things which you cannot change and over which you have no control. Because you cannot say exactly where debt will meet you. Perhaps you are in the grocery. Or maybe on the beach when the Prime Minister would have reopened. Or perhaps you are on a vacation on a 747 going to California. So well, is, there, is there any sense then in worrying about that? No, I don't think that's wise thinking. And that would not be the proper approach. You know, let me close. Many years ago, Debt sent a message, debt sent a message to a little village. 6,000 inhabitants in the village. Debt said the message as follows, I am coming through on Thursday night. And when I come through, I'm going to take 4,000. I said six. All right, Thursday night approach. Yeah, debt fulfilled its promise. But on the morrow, when they looked at the reality, they remarked that you have lied and you have deceived us. You told us you would have taken <laughs> four, but you took 5,500. How could that have been? And Dad said, no, you're wrong. No, you're wrong. I took the four. Fear killed the rest. Did you hear me? Yeah, I fulfilled. I made good on my promise. I took four. Fear killed. <laughs> 1,005. My brothers and sisters, let us rejoice in the fact that the Lord Jesus Christ has taken care of the hard part. Amen. The fear and the worry and the assurance and the confidence is given to us this morning. If a man dies, shall he live again? Yes. But where? And with whom? And under what condition and what, in, what kind of environment? These are the realities that we must ponder. Debt has lost its thing. It's like a lion going around, roaring, 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 roaring. It has no teeth. It has no claw. But it continues to operate amongst us. Thanks be to God for giving us the victory to our Lord Jesus Christ. So let us celebrate the victory and prepare ourselves so when we come to the terminus, that is a terminus, it's a bus stop. It's not the end. It's a terminus. You stop there for a while, and then you move on. May God bless all of us. And may the soul of the departed rest in peace. And may light perpetual shine upon him. In Christ Jesus' name we pray today. Amen and amen. If you live a life of fear, you die early. And if you let fear get the better of you, you will not live out your days. Fear has enough power to take you out. Amen. But Jesus Christ has done his job. I want to sing another hymn and then I'll pray for family. And then we just have the interment. Blessed assurance. You don't go to church? That's an easy one. You don't go to church? Of glory divine, heir of salvation. 
born of his spirit, washed in his blood. Sing with me now. This is a story. And this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is the story. Praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect. Visions of rapture burst on my sight. Angels descending bring from above. Echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story. Yes, man. This is my story, and this is my song. Praising my Savior. Let us pray. Father God, we acknowledge your Lordship. We acknowledge the fact that you are leading us through the changes of time to the rest and blessedness of eternity. O oh God, we pray this afternoon that you would comfort every single member of the Bidweed family. And make them to know, Almighty God, that you have a vested interest in us. And that even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you are with us. Teach us to know that amid all the challenges that life would send our way, you are with us. Teach us, Almighty God, what it means to practice your presence. We thank you today for the life that you gave to the deceased. And teach us to know that our lives are just for a season. And that someday we too shall be carried away by the wings of immortality and mortality. Almighty God, give us of your strength today. Give every member of the bereaved family your strength. And may they experience your everlasting arms beneath their tattered embrace. And help them, O oh God, to take up their lives more bravely. And seek to be more faithful in duty and loving and helpful to one another. Following those who are no longer with us here on earth, including the deceased. And Almighty God, when the sleep of death falls upon our troubled lives, may we find in your great mercy the perfect and unending rest of God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen and amen and amen. The peace of God that passes all understanding, will keep your hearts and minds in the love and knowledge of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you, all of you, now and forevermore. Amen. We go to the interment site. Who are the Paul bearers? Let's take him to the place appointed from which he'll depart.
Thank mm-hmm. you.